What's up guys, it's Tim210 here, and uh, sorry for the uh, long wait for uploads, I've just been away, but I am now back after the holidays, and we'll be uploading a video today, or this video, and a video tomorrow for an airport update tomorrow. But what I have here is just some uh, accessories from Gemini Jets, uh, we got the airport vehicles, or like JSC as they're more professionally called and then I've got some jetways over here uh, so we'll start off with the vehicles then we'll move over to the jetways so you get a pack of all sorts of varied uh, vehicles in the 1400 scale this one is a passenger bus so this for example if you had sort of like a uh, ERJ, like a smaller craft like this, you would, instead of it using like a gate, like a jetway or something, you would just bring up a, a little stair truck. Another, there's a one of these in there. Or you could just use like, since these things would have stairs that would fold out, you could just put, you could bring the passengers from your terminal to your plane. And, yeah, I think it's uh, really highly detailed. Like, they've got all, like, the seats in there and everything. If the camera can focus. It's not going to focus, is it? There we go. It's got all, like, the seats in there and stuff. So, there's that. You also got to get a stair truck. Or these would... For example, if you have sort of like a higher aircraft, like the A321, or at least I'm using the A321 for an example. Let me try and focus the camera. You could uh, bring up a little stair truck up to your aircraft and your bus could bring your passengers out there. So if you don't have a, a, a gate for it, and you just want to park it on like a ramp, or as I know them as ramps, you can just bring up your stair truck, and passengers could board onto the uh, aircraft. So the next uh, vehicle we'll take a look at is your catering truck. Now these things are what bring like uh, food and drinks over to the aircraft, and uh, you can. Uh, depending on the height of your aircraft, if you have a low plane, you could just leave it down there, down all the way down, medium plane, or like you can bring it all the way up if you have like an A380 or a 747, and it gets pretty high, about the same height as the jetway for the wide body, and it can more difficult to retract them back down, but uh. You're not going to mess with it right now. Just put it over to the side. Next up, we got a cargo loader. These would go up to like uh, cargo planes, and uh, this little part up here can be raised up and down. This one on mine is broken, so I can't raise it up and down. You can put on like a, although this is like a little baggage trolley. You can just put it like on there like that, so you can bring out cargo to your cargo plane. So next up, we'll bring out one of the types of pushback uh, tugs that you get in this pack. Uh, you get two in each two different ones. This one would be lar would be used for like large aircraft, like your like a Boeing 777. These would usually just come right up to the nose gear and attach right onto it and it would push the plane out. So that brings us up to the next pushback tug. You get a smaller aircraft tug. Uh, these would use like a tow bar. Uh, this is what, uh, you also get a tow bar in this pack as well. And it would just go right like that, and then you could have 
for example, take a C, like a, a ERJ or something, and put it just right up to there like that, and it would push out like a small play like that, or a Boeing uh, 737. Y'all, next up we got a baggage truck, or baggage tug. Uh, I'm gonna try and focus this dang camera. And uh, these would bring out luggage to your uh, aircraft. And uh, put that right there. You can get, there's also a couple of, uh, oops, sorry about that. There's also a couple of uh, baggage carts that you get with this. An open baggage cart, covered baggage cart, and then a cargo baggage cart or cargo cart or whatever. These would just pull up to the like uh, to the back of your aircraft, and it would use one of these a baggage loader, uh, and load up the cargo to the uh, aircraft. So I'm just bring that off to the side. Now I'll bring us up to our next, which is the bag of the loader. These would drive up to like the uh, area where you're gonna load on your luggage or like the uh, door for the luggage. So if you wanna have a, if there's like a larger plane, like a higher aircraft, uh, this thing could come up. It'll be a go at, at maximum at that height. Oh, so it'll break off. And you can just bring it back down. Then you got a mini bus or a private bus. I don't know the correct term for this. It's just a small bus. Same purpose as the larger bus. And I believe that's Oh yeah, and then you get a fuel truck. I believe that's all of the vehicles. Uh, now let's move on to the jetways. Now we'll go over the uh, jetways. We'll start off with the six pack, then to the three pack of wide body. So for your six pack, six pack that you get, uh, you get a shorter jetway. You get three shorter jetways. They can extend out. They can turn up to your aircraft. Uh, what I do for these is I have, uh, these would be actually inside of it, like that. And uh, what I uh, do is if it doesn't create enough friction so that like you could these could fall out really easily when you're trying to put these like this or something like that. So what I do is I just have one in it and one sticking out like that to create enough friction where I can hold it like this to move it and it won't fall out. So you uh -huh. can bring that up to like a uh, as what the jetway. Jetway's purposes are is turn up to the side of an aircraft to board passengers on. And just using the A321 as an example. Uh, on this, you got, uh, you got like some stairs. Uh, you, uh, when these little pins at the end would go into like the uh, Gemini Jets terminal building, which I don't have. And these would extend out, uh, for the example I've shown here, and these, like the uh, front part here would turn and stuff like that. So there's your shorter jetway. I don't know the correct term for those. You get three, as I said. Uh, there, you get three of them. Uh, so, and just that's just in one pack. Then we'll get those, and we'll move on to the longer jetways. Now, these, if you want to have like a jet further than further from the terminal, these would extend further than the shorter ones. So, already it extended in, 
it's longer than the shorter ones when they're retracted. So again, I always do the sticking out pole to just create more friction. And this goes out pretty long. So if you wanna have it docked up again, against like a plane, you can have it a pretty fair distance from your terminal. And yeah, as usual, it does the exact same purpose as the shorter one. You get three of these. Uh, one of them in my pack did not come out, did not come with a front uh, pair of wheels. So what I do is, I still use it, I just retract it out and uh, use it to like a, a lower aircraft, like a CRJ 200. That's pretty low, so that, uh, it'll just drag on the, it'll just basically go down to the ground, basically. So there's those jetways, the singular jetways. As I said, it was coming a pack of six in total. Now I'll move over to the wide body jetways. These come in packs of three. And there are, yeah, six. Uh, they're the exact same as these, only just a different base. This would, uh, so if you have like the terminal building, this would come out from this side of it. And these do retract and retract in and out and do the exact same. Yeah, these things come out really easily. And as I do, you have the pole sticking out. So if you want to have like a wide body, such as like the uh, Boeing 777, uh, which does have a fair distance between doors, you could just bring these right up to the aircraft, only you'll need to bring down the wheels, or the uh, pair of wheels bring them just down a tiny bit. Yeah, these aren't the best uh, jetways you can get. I suggest using like a, uh, either building them out of like your own plastic or using like a really thick paper. Uh, cardboard or something and painting them but these just go right up to both doors on the 777 they'll also work for the uh a3 4600 which i know has its doors far enough apart these won't work for the a through any double decked airliner like the uh, a380s and the 747s, these will not work for them because just the way that the arch on them goes, they won't go next to the plane perfectly. It'll sort of be like that and versus flat like this. So these are only meant for like singular decked planes. So these uh, come in a pack of only three. Mm. And yeah, you can fling them if you want. So he's coming a pack of three uh, jetways. So I'll uh, bring in the other jetways and the vehicles. Yes, I just broke one. I'll bring in the other jetways and the vehicles. I'll just throw them all together. Yeah, sorry, I'm not good at camera working when I'm in front of it, sort of. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, sorry, I just haven't been posting for a while. Uh, Airport update's coming up tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.